In this screencast, I'm going to talk to you about the van der Waals equation of state. Now, this is an attempt to improve on the ideal gas law by introducing additional terms. So the equation is shown here, P equals RT divided by V minus B minus A divided by V squared. And A and B are given by the terms shown here. And we can have a look at this in a bit more detail. So the modifications compared to the ideal gas law is that we've got the A divided by V squared term to account for the attractive forces between gas molecules and the B term accounts for the volume occupied by the gas molecules. So limitations are that it will allow for the prediction of a liquid phase but with limited reliability and it also performs poorly near the critical point. So if we look at this in the spreadsheet We've got different uh, volumes, molar volumes down here, different temperatures across here, and then we can simply calculate this based on temperature, volume, gas constant, and then we've also got the A and B terms here. So we can plot this out for lots of different temperatures and volumes, and we get the different pressures. So let's look at the first plot. We've got an isotherm plotted here for uh, 304.1 Kelvin and this is the critical temperature and you can see that this actually goes quite close to the critical point so this is the literature value for the critical point and this performs a lot better than the ideal gas law. If we add some more detail in now here is an isotherm for a temperature lower than the critical temperature and we can also plot in the saturated vapor pressure at this temperature and we get three roots. Now the root over on the right hand side is the dew point and on the left hand side is the bubble point so we can start to look at this vapor liquid coexistence. If we add some further detail in so this is more isotherms with more saturated uh, vapor pressures so for example this line here this uh, purple line is 255.2 Kelvin and we can see that we've got a root here um, and then there's a root off the graph over here that we can't see. The orange line there's a root here, the grey line there's a root here but it doesn't have a root for the yellow line so this is at 284 Kelvin so it's not performing as well just here uh, and also at the blue. So this is as we get to the critical point um, we, we're no longer predicting this, uh, this liquid phase. Over on the right hand side there is a root and this is where we have the dew point, so the first uh, drop of liquid forming. Now if we add in a bit further detail here, I've just added in the critical point uh, that's calculated from this so you can see it's a little way away from the literature value so it isn't performing that well. If we add in some uh, lines, these are calculated now for the bubble point and for the dew point we can see that where these intersect this line goes through it doesn't appear but it's just been plotted in so now we've got a bubble point uh, line for this and then a dew point line and starts to show the behavior uh, based on the calculations if we now add in the literature bubble point and the literature dew point so the literature dew point is this uh, dashed green line the bubble point is this orange line you can see that we're a little bit apart. There's a bit of a gap between literature and calculation here. So it just demonstrates the van der Waals, it, whilst it does predict this liquid phase, it doesn't perform that well near the critical point. And finally, we can add some isotherms above the critical point. And overall, this is just a bit of a picture, really, of how the van der Waals uh, equation of state starts to show pressure volume behavior using the example of CO2.